You have to excuse the state of my uncut toenails. <laughs> I really don't like cutting my toenails. It's really uncomfortable. So I tend to uh, avoid it at all costs. But, uh, yeah. Oh God, I can't hold it in that hand because I'm shaking. That shake, that is me. My hands are literally shaking. I'm still trying to process the <laughs> the anxiety of get going to one of these uh, mental health discussions with a consultant who can screen me and decide if I'm worthy of their time. Uh, I keep slipping the system by the looks of it, you know. <clears throat> Um, with the extra diagnosis, you know, that <laughs> I have to really, really think, rethink what my wording is, but, you know, but usually when I'm thinking, my toes are always, uh, moving around, like, I'm never still, I'm always, my feet are always moving around. I've created this damp patch with my feet here. It smells lovely, actually. And this is really clean. It's just strange for London. It's really clean, kind of soily smell. It feels like the countryside a little bit. Reminds me of home. And. Seeking uh, healing from the trees. Uh, this is kind of like a, a little alcove in a sectioned off part part of the park. And uh, as you can see, it's like a inside. So I just crept in here just to have a smoke. Um, and chill out. You can hear those birds, can't you? Birdies. Sing for me, birdies. Hey, trees. Do you have a message? area is also the area where I where I saw the, the the kind of like transparent object which was kind of up there somewhere up there yeah. high enough so a human being couldn't reach it put it that way and it's just floating there and I was with my friend Cheryl and I showed her and she actually saw it and she said, oh my God, yeah, you're right. It's like something out of Star Trek, you know, with the cloaking device when you get to, you, you know, you know, they depict it on the TV as the, uh, like a, a Klingon ship would, would, uh, would be cloaked, but you know, it would be indicated on the screen on, in the CGI as the uh, as the cloaking device. You know, as it's kind of like the outline of the ship. You know, um, outline of the ship, and so, yeah. so that was the outline of the ship, and you'd kind of. It'd be given away where you'd see little bits of light reflecting off of certain edges and stuff because it's all about it's all about angles and perspective and and you know from what direction you're looking at something and uh, you know everything is alive everything everything has its own shape 
and everything's changing and morphing constantly. It's just that, you know, before we couldn't see it because we were we were under so much illusion and lies and uh, so controlled that we couldn't we couldn't even begin to perceive some of the things we've got. All we had was fairy tales and and you know the myths and those things you know sound astonishing even to this day those feats and those monsters but because they're so astonishing they're just relegated to uh, to myth but what what if they're real you know and that's just a basic thought I'm not going into anything too deep or anything I just I'm just rambling on putting my feet down connecting to mother nature and spirit and uh, hopefully by the time I'm done and I get home and stuff, I feel, feel pretty good. The trees are helping me to heal. So. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed looking at my feet and a bit of the park. And uh, take care.